Hey everybody, Danny here with another video for you. Today we are going to take a in-depth review of the Skecher Razor XS after 125 miles. ago I had mentioned that we were going to be doing a review on the Skecher Razor XS. Now this is a 125 mile review on the Skecher Razor XS. As of this morning I crossed about to I think 127 miles in the shoe. So uh, let's just go ahead and talk some details on the Razor XS. This is a neutral road running shoe. It has a four millimeter offset so it has 30 millimeters in the heel, 26 millimeter in the front. Um, basic information about the shoe, it has a very simple breathable upper. I mean, even if you hold it up in the light, it is slightly see-through, lots of breathability into the shoe. Uh, it's a nice lightweight shoe. It's something I've always enjoyed about the Skechers shoe lineup. Uh, in a nine, men's size nine, this weighs 7.2 ounces. So the Razor XS is a complement, I feel, to the Razor lineup. The current model that is available is the Razor Plus. Uh, very similar uppers, if you look at both of them. The main difference is two millimeters of extra stack for the Razor XS. So let's talk about the Razor XS uh, a little bit more and how my experience has been with it. Um, how does it feel underfoot? Uh, the Razor Excess, uh, to me, is a little more dense of a shoe than the Razor Plus or even the Razor 3. Um, two more millimeters of stack. However, to me, that did not make it feel like it had more bounce. Uh, for the first few runs, the foam just felt a little more dense and had a little less road feel to it. Um, so even though it's got this nice hyperburst that has great great bounce to it and great pop the first few runs in this i would say the first uh you know 15 miles it just felt like it was a little more dense had less road feel to it and i mean the one upside to it is that any imperfections in the road rocks debris if you landed on them you didn't feel it as much um so looking at the upper on the shoe uh you can see that uh, it's very simple, very breathable, not a whole lot to it. The lacing system, very simplistic to it. I know a lot of people do not like how the lacing system sometimes will not lay perfectly flat after you lace it up. For me, it's not an issue. It doesn't bother me. Um, how do I use this shoe? Uh, I primarily use this as a road running shoe. 99% um, of the time I'm on the road or I'm on sidewalk. Only occasionally am I using this off of the road, maybe occasionally cutting through the dirt or cutting through a trail. So that's why you can see a little bit of dirt on it. Um, so one thing we'll do next is look at the outsole. So looking at the outsole, I was actually kind of surprised at how the Goodyear rubber was wearing down. Um, I'll be honest that I was expecting a little more durability and a little less wear after 125 miles. Um, my initial thought when I first got this shoe was to take it probably to 400 miles. However, looking at it now, you can see in a few spots in the front and back in the heel where the landing is, it's, it's wearing down a little more than I expected. So I was expecting a little more with that Goodyear rubber. Um, so it will be very likely that uh, in another month or so, maybe we'll do another follow-up video just to see how it's progressing. Um, going forward with the shoe, what do I use it for? This shoe is primarily for my use is a daily trainer, but I like to mix in mile repeats with this shoe and even five to six, maybe even seven mile tempo runs with this shoe. Um, is it a long distance shoe? I think comfortably running eight to 10 miles in the shoe, maybe upwards of 12 miles. You can get a half marathon out of the shoe. I don't see this as being the best long run shoe, but 
It's a nice lightweight shoe. It's very versatile. It's one thing that's always been great about the Razor lineup. They're very versatile shoes and uh, they're, you know, just really enjoyable to run in. Um, so hopefully you'll find this video informative and um, enjoyable to watch. If you have any questions about the shoes or you currently have a pair of Razor XS and you have any comments or insight, feel free to comment in the section below and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And again, thanks for watching.